Hello, my name is Al Ackerman and welcome to the channel. If you like card magic, you've come to the right place. If you love sleight of hand, make sure you click on subscribe. Now today I'm, I'm going to be doing an effect from my card theater lecture notes. Uh, it's called the Extended Merlin. Now my better half is not here today. She's out and about. It's a much better trick if I have a real spectator shuffling the cards. So you're going to have to use your imagination, and I'll play both the role of the magician and the spectator. Let's take a look. This is an effect about shuffling. And there's different ways people can shuffle cards. This is what's called the overhand shuffle. This is a very uh, common shuffle, often done in the hands. It's just called a in-the-hands ripple. So, good shuffle, good mix. But the best shuffle is the one they do in the casinos. And we do not need the joker here, so I don't need that guy. Uh, it's called a table. Table riffle shuffle looks something like that. But the best table riffle shuffle is the one that you do. And at this point, I'd hand the deck to the spectator and they would uh, riffle shuffle uh, the deck of cards together. All right, so what we have now is a good mix of those cards. Now we're only going to use half the deck, so you can name either the black or the red cards. We'll remove them. So let's say the spectator says, uh, remove the red. So we'll remove the red and do the effect uh, with the uh, black cards. And I'm just going to separate the spades from the clubs as we come to them. Now every now and then I get somebody asking me how many different ways somebody could riffle shuffle a deck of cards. And the answer is it's 52 factorial. Now that is the product of 52 times 51 times 50 all the way down to 1. That is an extremely large number. It's approximately 8 followed by 67 zeros. Now that number is so large, that's more than the number of atoms that make up planet Earth. That number is so large, it's more than the number of atoms that make up the entire, entire Milky Way galaxy. And you can Google that. That number is so large that the probability of two riffle shuffles ever being the same is virtually zero. So what I just uh, said there, that this is probably the first time in the history of planet Earth that this particular riffle shuffle has existed. Okay, happened here. So uh, what I want you to notice is we have no correlation at all between these two packets of cards. My bottom card here in the clubs is a uh, Jack of clubs, the bottom card over here, and the spades is three of spades. Second card in is a five, your second card in is a six. My third card here is a, an ace here, right? And your third card's a nine. Matter of fact, your ace is one, two, three, four, fifth in this packet. All right, my top card of this whole group's a queen. Your top card of the group over there is a two. So no correlation at all uh, between these two packets of cards. Now, there is an interesting correlation between the deck of cards and the calendar we use. And this is some interesting trivia here. There are four suits in the deck, clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Well, there's four seasons in the year. Summer, fall, winter, and spring. There's 52 cards in the deck. There's 52 weeks in the year. There are exactly 13 lunar cycles each year. Well, we have exactly one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 distinct values of each suit. There's 12 court cards in the deck. There's 12 months of the year. But the most amazing piece of trivia is if I were to add up all these values, the 3, the 6, the 9, king would be 13, ace would be 1, queen would be 12, jack 11, work my way all the way down to that 2, and do that for the clubs, and then also do it for the hearts and the diamonds, and add one for that joker. I actually get the number 365, the number of days in the year. That's a pretty amazing uh, piece of trivia there. Okay, well, like I said, we're going to do something really amazing between these two packets of cards. Right now, I want you to notice we've got 
total chaos here. Bottom card is a three, top card is a two, uh, middle card is my king. All right, so we got total chaos in this group of uh, 13 cards here. Well, we have 13 factorial ways I can arrange those 13 spades. That's over 6 billion ways I can arrange these spades. Watch with the snap of the fingers. This is now order out of chaos. There's an ace. There's a two. There's a three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Jack. Queen. And king. Let's try that again. Watch these clubs. Just a snap of the fingers. And they now go ace through king. Remember these red cards that just shuffled up a second ago? Just a snap of the fingers. And now I have ace through king of diamonds. And we have ace through king of hearts. Order out of chaos. Hey, if you enjoyed that effect, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy card magic, make sure you click on subscribe. Now, it was about four years back, Jason England came to the Wednesday Night Magic Club and he had a variation of a Matthew uh, a Bick effect that had basically 51 gaff cards and one regular card in the deck. And uh, Jason's routine had 38 gaff cards and 14 regular cards. I liked the routine, and I went home and I said, I'm going to work this out with a regular pack of cards. So I came up with this routine. Now, my particular method is really based on a routine that was in this book by Jack Merlin. And so, hence the name of my routine is the Extended Merlin. He had a routine in here called the Sequence Effect, but it only had one ending. So my routine now has four endings, and it's pretty much kind of the same idea. And I published mine in this set of notes back in 2019. So I hope you enjoyed the routine. My name's Al Ackerman, and I'll catch you next time.